Hey everyone, this is already the Vintage Stitcher. So today is a Saturday, um, Saturday, January 22nd, I think, something like that. Um, I know I did record yesterday. Um, I'm going to be trying to put out a little bit more content. Um, I think I mentioned in yesterday's video, I have plans for this channel. I have big plans for this channel. Some of it is requiring more content, more tutorials. Um, I would just like to uh, bring more to the channel this year um, and have plans for it. And um, I want to move forward with, with all of that. And one of the plans I have is to bring you into my workspace a little bit more. Okay? Um, so my plan is to, as I'm working, and doing my projects is to be recording them. So hopefully a little bit more interactive with when I'm sitting on my sewing machine or when I'm doing my finishing projects or when I'm um, doing things, um, I'm also teaching you some of my techniques, some of my, uh, my work practices, those sorts of things, so that you can see what goes on day to day in my world. <clears throat> um, and the biggest question I get, and the biggest comment I get is, how do I get so much stuff done in my busy life? And yes, I'm busy. Um, am I busier than anybody else? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I know there's lots and lots of you women out there who have full-time jobs and kids at home or aging parents that you're taking care of, um, and, you're, and you're trying to fit it all in, and you do. And you fit it all in, and you probably fit it in, you probably fit more than I I do in a day, or in a week, or in a month. Um, just, my world is on YouTube. So, and I, I talk about it every day. And I talk about it every video. This is what I'm doing, and this is, and it may seem like a lot. But, um, please do not ever underestimate what you are all getting done in a day or a week or a month um, pat yourselves all on the back um, but I do want to show you how I get so much done kind of in a weekend when it is kind of quiet around here and we're in the middle of winter it's below zero it's it, it it's miserable out there and I have no intentions of going outside so I'm spending my time in my sewing room today and this is how I kind of jumpstart my weekends and this is how I um, get going and I get organized and I get things done. Um, so what I do is I come in, I get up at a normal hour, I do sleep, I do sleep by the way, I sleep a lot. I, I'm in bed by eight o'clock every night and on the weekends I sleep until seven or eight in the morning. Um, I, I love to sleep. <laughs> During the week, we're up at 4.30 in the morning, but on the weekends, I sleep. I lollygag around. Like right now, it's almost noon. Um, I lollygag around, and um, I have coffee, and I visit with my husband, and I make a breakfast and stuff like that. And then I get dressed and get ready for the day. The first thing I do, either on a Friday morning or Saturday morning, depending on what I do, is I come in, and I have a basket, and it's very heavy, so it's over here. But it has, like, all my projects that I want to work on in that basket, okay? It has um, everything from sewing projects to finished stitch projects to projects that need to be kitted up, um, projects that need to be FFO'd, all sorts of things. It has all sorts of like craft projects that I wanna do. Sometimes they're painting projects, sometimes they're gluing projects. Some it, everything, everything is in that basket that I want to do. Okay, so what I do is I kind of pick through that basket and I go, This is what I want to get done this weekend. And I start pulling those projects and I put them in a great big pile and I start pulling things out. Now, what I do is okay, so this was on a big piece of fabric that Candy has sent me, and they are two. They're started, all right? They're started. So I ha I'm working on this. This is Farmhouse Christmas. I have all the threads pulled. So what I needed to do is I cut these off of the fabric. I just need to serge these edges, okay? 
and then get them in, in my stitching basket so that I can work on these in the evening. So I put these in a stack, all right? Those are ready to go. I put those in a stack. This little project here, I need to pull the flosses for. So I have the pattern. I'm gonna pull the flosses for those. Put that in a stack. I'll probably do that this evening after everything is all said and done. But then I'm gonna get that into a project bag that's gonna go into my sewing basket and that will be ready to go. So that's gonna go in a stack. But then what I do is I start pulling fabrics and projects. Now, yesterday when I was sewing, I put together, I'm doing a product review for Annie's craft, um, craft club for these um, placemats, right? So I had stitched together the placemats. They're all stitched and they're ready, but I need to quilt them and put the binding on them. So what I did was I cut the fabric, I cut the binding, I pulled the batting, they're all ready to go. I have that all in one spot. That's all ready to go. Everything's ready to go. All I have to do is pin them, quilt them, bind them, hand sew the binding. Those projects, that project will be done. That's all together. That's in a pile. Okay. Um, I have a project that I want to um, finish for you guys. I want to show you how to make a mattress pillow like this. So yesterday I had to put together a sample. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. I'm still a little raspy from being sick. I put together a sample. I want to show you how to make a mattress pillow. All right. So here's my sample that I'm going to show you. But here's the project. Okay. So what I have done is I pulled the project, pulled the interfacing. I've pulled the fabric. Everything's pressed, ready to go. That goes in a pile. It's all ready. I can sit down. I can start cutting it. I can get it put together. <coughs> I have this other little project. Now, this is one that needed to be FFO'd. I know this is a word play. I want to make this into a little pillow for my dough bowl. Okay. I pressed it. Pulled my interfacing. I pulled my fabric. It's cut to size or semi-size. That is all together, okay? It's ready to go. It goes in the pile. I have this little one. Remember, I finished this the other day. I'm going to make a little pillow out of this. Um, this was kind of a two-for-one because I loved this little piece of fabric, this little primitive fabric. Cut my fabric, cut my interfacing, this is ready to go. I can sit down. I can do this project. I'm not getting up in between projects, searching for all my stuff. Do you see where this is going? Okay. So right now, I've got all these projects. They're ready to go. Okay. So, I finished this little project. Remember, I wanted to make it into a pillow. I cut my piece of interfacing. I pulled my fabrics. These are the fabrics that I'm going to make this pet toss pillow with. It's all ready to go. I don't have to stop what I'm doing, pull my sewing room apart, pick out fabrics, that sort of thing. It's all ready to go. Ta-da. Another project ready to go. Okay. This is, another, this is another one that Candy has sent me. And this is one I've been kind of really excited about. And I thought this is a good time to pull the stuff because I'm pulling stuff. I'm making a mess in my sewing room at this point, right? I've got buttons out, I got zippers out, I got fabric everywhere. Everything is just everywhere. So she sent this, it's a half finished Quaker project. Well, I don't have the pattern. I have no desire to finish it beyond here, but we don't want it to languish, right? Right? My plan is to make a nice size pillow out of it. Um, so what I did was I cut my interfacing. I auditioned my fabrics. I pulled my fabrics for it. See, I've got two really pretty fabrics. 
that match it really well. I pulled all my fabrics. I auditioned my fabrics. These are the fabrics I'm in love with, okay, for this piece. I kind of fold it, set it down. Um, this one I know I want a zipper backing so that I can um, put a pillow, make a pillow form in it in case I need to take it out and wash it or whatever. I've got my zipper. I've even goes, gone so far as I've pulled my trims. I've pulled specialty trims. Now, I may not use all these trims, but I've gone through the button box and I've pulled the trims. I've got all my little buttons that I know that kind of coordinate with this project. I may or may not use them all, but I have them. So I don't have to stop what I'm doing to search for them. This project is all ready to go. I set that aside, okay? Now, I've had a customer who sent me a bunch of smalls to finish. Now, I consider that one project. When I sit down to do a project for a customer, I do all of their stuff all at once. I don't blend or mix customer projects together at all. Um, I just feel like I would get things too mixed up. So what I have done is I keep all of their stuff together. I keep their envelope, I keep their notes, and I keep all of their projects together. So I have all of her projects here, okay? I've cut all of the interfacings for those projects. I've picked all of the fabrics that I'm gonna use. She has a combination of pillows and flats that she wants done. I've gone through and I picked all of the fabrics for all of the projects that I, so I don't have to stop in between projects and pick those. I have all the trims that I could, that I feel like I'm gonna possibly use. I may or may not use them all, but I have all my trims that I'm gonna possibly use. My Rick Racks. Um, you know, I have, and my button box is a hot mess. So I don't ever want to stop like in, in the middle of a project and start searching for buttons. It is a rabbit hole that I just don't have time to go down. So before I start my projects, I pull my buttons. Oop, I just lost one. My buttons and my bells and I think, oh, because that's when I have time to kind of let my mind wander and play in the button box and pull them out. Yeah, there's only five projects here and I have about 20 buttons, but I don't know what I'm going to use. I can put things back, but I want to have those variety of things that I may use. You know, I found a little green bow, I found some other ribbons, but I have all my stuff together. So when I am ready to sit down and do this project, everything is there. Okay, so that's all together. <clears throat> now. I have two other projects that I really wanted to do this weekend, but I don't have the supplies, okay? So this one here, I wanted to make a cube. You've seen them, like the cute little cubes that you, like the little stand-up cubes, like the present style cubes. I don't have the cube, the, the um, styrofoam. So... I did not pull anything for this yet, but I start my list, okay? Start my shopping list, and I keep this with my shopping list. This one here, too. <coughs> this one, I, this is one that Candy sent, and it is beautiful. Now, I have a couple of ideas for it, but I really, really want to frame it. And I have an idea for it, and I have a place for it. I, need, I do not have a frame in house for it. So I need to search for a frame. So again, I wrote on my list, my shopping list, the size that it is so that I can shop for that frame. And it can be on, on the lookout for that frame. So I haven't pulled fabrics or trims or anything for these two projects. And they will probably go back in the basket until I get those supplies, which will probably be sometime this week, which means by next Saturday, I will be pulling 
fabrics, trims, ribbons, that sort of thing. And then they will go into the, the to-do pile. Now, what I do is, um, I'm sure everybody's heard of like the debt snowball, where you pay on your smallest debt first, and then you take that money, and then you pay on the next debt. I kind of do a project snowball. I start with the one that's going to take me the least amount of time. Okay, so let me reach back here. Like this is gonna take me two minutes. I'm gonna surge these edges. I'm gonna get them off the pile. I'm gonna go put them away. And then I'm going to pick the next project that's going to take me maybe 10 minutes. I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna set that aside. And actually what I do is I set those in this basket here. And I've been recording. So these are things that you're gonna see in the next few days. Um, I'll either record these, you know, I'll be recording these and you'll be seeing these on video. But when I'm all done with them, then I put them in this basket so that when I record a video, I'm able to show you what I've done over the weekend. So then they're finished items, they go in this basket, they get recorded into a video, shown to you, and then they get displayed, gifted, or whatever. But then they're finished. So I kind of do that Project Snowball. And I do the ones that like click hitters, boom, 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 boom. And once you get on that roll of, oh my God, I finished that. I finished that. I finished that. And then, you know, you you just get into this roll of, wow, I can do anything, that kind of thing. And by the end of the day, you look around and you go, I finished 10 projects today. Or I finished five projects today. Or I maybe you've only finished one project today, but it was a large project. Um, and maybe you choose to do your larger projects first and then go down to your smaller projects. However, you decide to do it, but you have all of your stuff available. Okay. So now I have all my stuff out. <coughs> Sorry. I've tidied up my sewing room. I put all my fabric away, all my buttons away, all my, everything is tidied up. And then I set up to sew, glue, iron, press all of that and then I'm ready to sit down my machine is set up it's oiled it's clean it's threaded everything is there my iron is hot it's filled with water it's my pins are out everything is ready to go at this point and then I turn on tv or I turn on some music or I turn on the recorder and I talk with you guys and I just away I go so <clears throat> excuse me one second still like I said it's still a little dry still a little raspy from being sick but this is how I get things done so when somebody says wow you get a lot of things done in a day yes most of the time I do um, it's because I prep for it the prep you do in the morning to set yourself up for crafting is going to pay off throughout the day. And now I do that with my whips and pro my whips too. Um, I, because I get into that root, I get I fall into that rabbit hole of where I've got and I'm pretty monogamous, but I mean you've seen me throughout the year where I've all of a sudden I've got like 10 things going at once. And it's like I, I put the brakes on and I get those whips organized in bags where, okay, this one's going to take me two hours to finish this up. All right, sit down, get that done. Take the next one. That's only going to take a few hours. Get that one done. Next one, get that one done. Get focused, stay on one, hammer them out, and then work on those larger ones kind of in between, but you know, if you're working on an ornament, finish that ornament, finish that one that only needs maybe back stitching. Just sit down, focus, get them done, get them into your um, basket so that you can get them FFO'd and keep moving along. So <clears throat> I'm not telling you how to organize. I'm just telling you what works for me. So this is um, 
like I said, I just wanted to kind of hop on. I want to give you guys a little bit more glimpse into what go goes on in my craft room on a week-to-week -week basis or a day-to-day -day basis. And hopefully some of my, my tips and tricks will help you um, in the future. If not, oh well, that's fine. Or if you have any tips and tricks that might help me, please leave those in the comments below. So if you're loving the new content and you're loving the new style of videos, um, absolutely, if you could just subscribe, um, hit that notification bell, comment, leave me a thumbs up, all that jazz, that would be great. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Um, in the meantime, please be kind, spread love, and find peace.